up, folks? I am UltraZilla, and this is the UltraZ News Weekend Update. Yes, it's Sunday. Yes, it's late, but it is what it is. It's still the weekend, so let's talk some toy news. Not a lot of major news this week, but some things that I'd like to uh, discuss nonetheless. Please note, though, uh, one of the items we're going to be discussing, a couple of the items we're going to be discussing here, which came out, like, right after my last news, um, is kind of spoilery for Shin Kamen Rider, which tickets have gone on sale now uh, for some Fathom dates here in the U.S. So do look out for those uh, in your town. So there is a little spoilery stuff. Uh, I, I did want to say it right now. Um, I don't have to say it, honestly. Uh, I'm at the point where, um, you know, I, if there's toy news that's officially out, I need to cover it, guys. So I'm saying it as a courtesy, but you know, it is what it is. So without any further ado, let's get to the news. The only toy news, not for views, but for all of you all. And let's start out with that spoilery stuff. Uh, because SHF is doing a Shin Kamen Rider Zero. Now, I don't know much about this. Don't know the character. Um, so for me, it really wasn't a spoiler beyond, oh look, there's another character that's going to be in the movie. Um, so I'm fine with it. You know, uh, there's something about his hair that makes me go, hmm, you know, overall from what I know about the movie. So, you know, it is, there's that, but I don't know much. It looks like a interesting looking figure. Don't know how much I would get it, but, you know, it is something that's going to be out there. Now, this was an interesting one, but they are re-releasing Shin Kamen Rider with a, without the coat for one, and uh, with his, you know, human, you know, head, <laughs> human head, his regular head, Hongo. So that that's an interesting one as well. And the uh, last thing is there's going to be movie monster series figures of Shin Kamen Rider Zero and of uh, these uh, Trooper Kamen Riders. So, you know, a little troop building for you. But let's move on to Ultraman. And the Ultra Action uh, figure series is going to be doing a Grigio figure, which is very cool. Comes out at the end of the month. And out now, which I sort of missed, is Wyndham. Both of these figures are exclusives in the SHF line, so uh, these are a pretty good way to pick up a Wyndham and a Grigio figure. Wyndham, again, up for sale right now. Link is down below to HLJ, where you can easily get it, so uh, I would do that if I were you, and if you want to save some money. Last Bandai thing we're going to talk about at this time, it's a gold Don Onitajin from Super Sentai. Um, this is really, really cool. It's a P-Bandai exclusive as well. Nice bling bling. I still haven't re reviewed the, uh, the regular one that, you know, I picked up last year. But I do plan on doing so. It is on my to-do list, uh, you know, I'm trying to clean, complete all of 2022's items. Another uh, big thing that happened last weekend was Star Wars Celebration in Europe. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna just talk about a few things here. Cad Bane from the Book of Boba Fett. This is, uh, I haven't been getting much Star Wars anymore, but this is something that interests me. Love Cad Bane, one of my favorite characters, uh, in all of Star Wars. Just very cool. I love Spaghetti Western, so this really does it for me. Uh, probably something I'm gonna grab. Another thing that does it for me, another Black Series, is the Jabba the Hutt, a brand new Jabba the Hutt figure. Looking real, real nice with all the accoutrements and salacious crumb and all of that. So, uh, another thing I, I might look out for, I don't know. You know, I, I'll i always love Star Wars. I just don't know how much I'm collecting Star Wars anymore. You know, I'm not really, uh, but we'll see. One thing that I haven't bought anything of yet, but I'm definitely interested in at least a couple of figures is the Indiana Jones line. And here is Wave 2. First up, you got a few Temple of Doom figures, and it's a very Temple of Doom uh, line, obviously. You know, so that it's pretty cool. Short Round, isn't it? You got a couple of Indies, you got Short Round, and then from the new movie, Dial of Destiny, you got Helena Shaw. And, well, this is another <laughs> Temple of Doom. 
uh, indie, but you also have uh, the new movie indie. Which, look, as an old school Indiana Jones fan, I'm definitely looking forward to the movie. Uh, and I definitely need to get a few of these figures at some point. There's a, a build a figure here. It is the temple statue uh, thing from Temple of Doom. That's that's really, really cool. So you could relive all your uh, classic Indiana Jones moments. Let's stay with uh, Hasbro. Well, let's stay with Takara, honestly. Um, and uh, we got a Rhinox versus Scorponok Beast Wars 2-pack with new premium deco looking real real nice uh if you love the old beast war stuff this this is a very nice two-pack i do have scorpionok you know as one of the things i bought last year that i haven't reviewed yet from the beast war re reissues here so i i'm probably not getting this and i i do think we'll probably get rhinox in that walmart line as well but um this does look cool you can get it you can pre-order it like on Hasbro Pulse. Uh, so yeah, if you're into this, this is something that you probably want to get, you know, because it looks really, really cool. In more Transformers Beast Wars kind of news, well, sort of. Uh, this is an Optimal Optimus in Optimus Primal colors. Uh, and this is a third party figure. It's a Beast Guerrera figure, which, you know, has the regular version as well. I forget the company name that does this, but it's like CR or something or other. You can get this wherever, um, you know, third party figures are sold. I know TF Direct, which is where I got these picks, uh, has it. So something very cool. I really like this design. It looks really awesome. 3 0, speaking of Transformers, revealed their RC from the Bumblebee movie in their deluxe line. Looks awesome. I really like her look in the Bumblebee movie. And she's in Rise of the Beast also, which is excellent. So this is definitely something uh, to look out for, for sure. It's a really, really nice design. And some other news from 3.0 that I just want to help spread. Uh, they put out a notice that their uh, Asurata, which is beginning to ship now, I believe, uh, from Cyber Formula. There's two versions of it. There's a 3.0 version because it's in collaboration with Mega House and a Mega House version. The 3.0 version has a sticker and a warranty sheet and the mega house version does not if you purchased the mega house version you're gonna have to get any replacement parts or whatever you might need customer service through mega house okay and of course the reverse if you got it from three zero speaking of mega house though uh just kind of flew under the radar a little bit in their ua monsters line uh which is ami ami exclusive i believe they at least in japan they are doing a Gigan, and it looks really, really nice. I have no experience with this line, but I always thought some of their pieces looked really cool. Um, and Gigan obviously always looks cool. So uh, this looks really nice. So do check Ami Ami for availability on this one if you are interested, because it looks very nice. Though I do think here in the U.S. some some shops uh, do get the UA Monster stuff. So you know. You might want to check around for availability there. X Plus is doing a Shin Ultraman model kit. And there's an exclusive Rick Boy version of it as well. It looks really, really nice. Obviously, he's standing, uh, you know, on a little piece of land there with a electric tower. A very classic Ultraman pose. It looks really good, guys. So it is a model kit. You can pre-order it right now. If you pre-order the Rick Boy exclusive of it, you will get not one, but two heads, including the landing form. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And a smiling form. So very, very nice or imitation form, right? Anywho, speaking of Shin Ultraman, let's move on to Good Smile. I talked about this once before that they were doing a uh, Shin Ultraman as well in the Nendoroid line. Well, now it's official. Picks are out and the pre-orders are up. You can pre-order it down below at HLJ. Hey, hey now, help support the channel. Make no bones about it, help support the channel, guys. Uh, that'd be really, really awesome. Uh, I do appreciate anyone that does. Click those links. Anyway, I think this uh, Nendoroid Shin Ultraman looks very, very, very nice. Uh, so definitely something I'm 
interested in. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. There's another Nendoroid, though, that uh, caught my interest this week, and it, just because they're doing it. And it's a Barbie. Yeah, Bar Nendoroid Barbie. It, it's, it's, you know, it is what it is. I'm not into Barbie or anything, but I have to say the movie has piqued my interest a little bit. Uh, but just very cool that there's going to be an Nendoroid Barbie. One last good smile. Actually, a couple of good smile things left here, but they're both Gridman. First up, the Universe Gridman that I talked about here on the channel already. Real nice official pics of it. Looks so beautiful. I just wanted to just point out these pics in, in general. Um, just very nice. It comes with a big gold burn. Uh, you know, I, again, I talked about this, but I didn't have these official pics. And I, I really like this universe design of uh gridman so hoping to get like a figma in of it at some point i think that'll be the way to go instead of something like this and um, these this is the dx version but you know we'll see now here is something that i know a lot of folks are gonna be interested in and it looks like it is a figma gridman that's coming out the original gridman that's right servo he is coming in the figma line i believe uh so do stay tuned for more info this is the only thing they've teased thus far let's move on to super seven for a couple of items first up they're doing black hole stuff that is awesome you guys know i've covered some black hole stuff here on the channel but they're doing the robots and uh they look very very nice and what's cooler is the cards that they come in these are reaction figures um i'm not sure if they're going to be doing ultimates but uh, it's possible it's possible these look great I love the cards, uh, everything about them. You can order them right now, and I'll send them to you right now. <laughs> uh, there's an update to their next wave of turtles. They've decided to move the Rat King and added Karai here. So Rat King will come at another time with a tweaked head, I am sure. Let's talk about a couple of, you know, um, projects that are not officially licensed, but, you know, people just, you know, working it, making their own stuff, and there's a skull crawler coming out from, uh, Zeto.jo, so, uh, do check out his stuff, it's always amazing looking stuff, uh, for sure, another individual doing an awesome, awesome project, and, uh, and we've talked about him many times here on the channel, Toymaker 3D has an amazing looking kaiju hunter, yes, it's a beefed up <laughs> Jet Jaguar from Singular Point. It looks incredible. Here you see it with a lot of his other prints. Now this is just going to be a file. So, you know, you just buy the file and print it yourself. The uh, Zeto figure though is an actual figure. He's only making a limited amount, like 15. They might be sold out already for all I know. But either way, I definitely wanted to show it because that looked like a beautiful, beautiful skull crawler. And this is a beautiful, beautiful Jet Jaguar, no doubt about it. Love what I see here. Always like this dude stuff. I wish he made the straight up figures. Uh, I, I would definitely partake uh, if so, because while well, we have a 3D printer here, it's not like, it's not really up to stuff, you know what I'm saying? But good stuff here. And last but not least, just a little thing that I, I saw at a Five Below that I hadn't seen before. So for you Power Rangers fans, maybe you might want some uh, little Power Rangers with their battle bikes. Yeah, why not? Five bucks. And there you go, guys. That's the news. Hope you dug it. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.